Hello and welcome to the first episode in a new series that I haven't named yet, but it's a series that is going to follow the kind of steps that all young actors kind of go through to get to a certain point because the thing that kind of made me want to start this was you see all these actors on TV and the presenter is says something along the lines of, oh, and what started you off acting? And they always go, oh, you know, well, I kind of was in school and blah, 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 I joined an acting class, blah, 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 and all of a sudden I'm here. Which isn't how it works. That's a hugely abbreviated, abbreviated version. If you're lucky, yeah, it can work like that. But most of the time, it's a grueling process. My name is Neil, I am from Ireland, I am 16 and I am still a student. I have been acting for about 8 years now and yeah, you won't know me, I'm not a famous actor in any way, but that's kind of the point of this. The point of this is to see how actors develop from the very start, so I'll be taking you from on a magical journey from my very first acting class to now. Um, that'll all happen in later episodes. This is kind of just my introduction. Um, yeah. What my acting life is currently like? Pretty boring. Um, I was in a play, a pretty very small play, um, about, what, a month, two months ago? Uh, we are currently rehearsing a musical for our school and me and a good friend of mine are currently writing a short film which is a thriller horror kind of thing about four guys who go camping in the woods. Cliche, I know. You'll hear more on that as it kind of develops as an actual thing that's going to happen. Um, but yeah, I, yeah. As I've said, I'm, I'm only 16, so I can't possibly have had that much experience as an actor, uh, apart from, as I've said, that play as I was in. Um, I, I mean, I've been in smatterings of pantomimes and plays just kind of through the through the eight years, but nothing substantial. Um, now, as a kind of starting episode, and all of this will be off the cuff every episode because I am not going to write a script for this because that's kind of fake. I'm going to be talking about this as immediately how I feel about it. So when I started off acting, I was in primary school, which would be elementary school. Yeah, so eight or nine years. And um, I was just in school one day and I heard about this thing called speech and drama. I was on after school, so I was like, oh, I'm a nerdy little kid, that sounds interesting, I'll go to that. And I, that's where I kind of started acting, was in these little classes there, about 11 of us there, and we would just kind of improvise all the time. We did exams, which is a thing not a lot of people know exist. Acting exams are a thing that most actors who go to an acting school will go through. They basically, you learn a couple of pieces, maybe mine, maybe in an improvisation. If you do speech and drama exams, which I did for a couple of years, but then I moved over, you will do theory and literature and all that kind of stuff. But yeah, anyway, I'll get into that on another episode about curriculum and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, basically, starting off, little kid, I fell in love with it, to be honest. I kind of like being able to be like, oh, I'm someone else now. Ah. As that was my range of acting skills. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, it kind of just clicked with me for a long time that, damn, this is awesome. But I've always found it difficult to get anywhere in, like, at all. But that's why this is here, because I'm going to be bringing you through the life, as I've said, of an acting career that from this point will either degrade or develop. And 
life has not decided for me yet. Um, so stick around, you will find out more about my previous acting experience, my hopefully future, hopefully future, my hopeful future acting experiences and my present acting experiences. So now I can talk a little bit longer. Um, yeah, I'll go back to my, as I've said this, none of this is scripted. So sorry, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah, so as a child I did, did all of these exams and as a kid I was terrible, well, as a kid now, I'm terrible at maths and I was much more linguistically kind of centred. So I would much more twig, like I used to do the really stereotypical thing of have a maths textbook open and then slide a, a book in between the pages, you, you know, the Bart Simpson kind of thing. Yeah, I used to do that. Um, like I wasn't a lazy kid, I just didn't understand maths. I, I still don't understand maths, so there you go. But um, this kind of escapism through language and through words really kind of attracted me. I was like, I want to do this forever because I don't have to do numbers. And yeah, that's kind of what twigged me. So, I will see you all next time on my installment of whatever this show is going to be called, but for now, hit a like, hit a dislike, I don't care. Well, I do care, but do what you do. I'll do what I do. Hit subscribe, comment, share, whatever you want. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on... The title will be down there, I don't, I don't know yet. Okay, see you. Bye.